I'm potentially in a little bit of trouble here. I've got to be honest. No, now I'm going to get shot. How am I going to survive this? Look at the state of them. There's so many. It took us 25 days to turn this into this. Yeah, I know. It doesn't look much. But this is a water world with only two deep water. And my mission is to get thousands of pumpkins. I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time whilst creating something awesome. It's time we got on with it. Welcome to day 26 of this 100 days flat world, water world with only two blocks of water in it. And I've got to get a load of pumpkin survival challenge. I know the title is way, way too long, but at least it should be fun. If you didn't see the first 25 days, I forgive you. The link is in the description below and the thing is up on the screen right now. But promise me you come along and see this afterwards. That's the rules. I'm placing a lot of expectation on myself. I've already got a lot of villages. I want to make a trading hall. I want to try and make an iron farm, which which means I need to make a villager breeder probably because the trading hall is going to need more villagers than that. Plus, I want to do something with the village. I actually want to turn it into something quite nice. I might have to batter down every single house and make myself a proper house because, I mean, look at the state of them. Seriously. Yeah, you agree, don't you? And the sun's already going down, which is really confusing because I feel like it's been only been a few minutes, but apparently it's been 10. So I'm going to go to sleep and we'll start the next one. I don't want to go too close to them. Yeah, look, I've got a zombie villager. Some daft villager got in the boat with a zombie and we know what happens there. Right, bedtime. Let's start the next day. Morning all. I think the first thing I'm going to do today is create the area that I'm going to put all my storage in. This could take a little while because I'm not going to do it in this area. I'm going to do it slightly offshore in its own little island. In fact, if I treat this a little bit like a sky block, it might actually work and I can turn this central area into a building area and I'll probably change my mind halfway through. I started. I spent the next five days building a small storage hut just off the main island and going backwards and forwards to harvest my precious pumpkins, save wet villagers, empty my chests on the main base, save more wet villagers, collect more resources, build a roof, and yet again, save more wet villagers. How on earth are they getting out? Until on day 30, the hut was kind of done. So that's sat over there, and I'm already regretting putting all my resources off the island, but what I do need to do is turn this into something that's, I don't know, just a little bit more workable. I'm thinking I might build a circle. Cause you know, circles in Minecraft are a thing, right? And I think I'm gonna make it out of cobble, but looking at where the town center is, cause I wanna do it around the town center, I'm gonna have to make it probably, I think 29 blocks going out in each direction around that town center, which is gonna create a circle that is 59 wide, which means I need a lot of cobble. Which is why, starting on day 31, I decided to go to one of the other neighbouring villages that I'd not been to yet and completely ransack it for everything it was worth and raise it to the ground. Thunderstorm came along and the mobs came out and I accidentally hit an enderman and the mobs went in the water and they were shooting me and it wasn't good, but ultimately we ended up killing them all. I collected so much stuff, I ended up putting strategic chests around the place to hold it. I'll come back for it all later. I had to kill their Mr. G though. I needed the iron. I had to kill their animals as well. I was hungry. And after several axes, a lot of building deconstruction, path removal, and town unplanning, plus a lot of slime bashing, the village was reduced to nothing but a lonely town center surrounded by floating villages. But come on, I did leave them a little bit of space and some beds. They can get up here on their own. It's light, so nothing can spawn here. I'm not a monster, for goodness sake. I just need to do the 7 million runs or so it's going to take for me to get back home. This is taking longer than I thought. It's now day 45 and I've been seriously neglecting my pumpkins. I'm nowhere near being able to get the double chest that I need to have by the end of the 100 days. It's crazy. I can't believe I spent what ridiculous number of days over in that village deconstructing it. Don't let me do that again. Look, it's ridiculous. I've only got three and a half stacks. So I definitely need to expand this area out. Circle 59, 61, something like that. And then I can build the villager trade in and the iron farm and all that kind of stuff. And this is where I really regret putting my resources on a separate island. So for a 59 diameter circle, I've got to go 29 out in each direction. So I'm going to go out in that direction because I think that is the longest. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we are 20 to that fence. I need to go out another nine, but I'm gonna to go to bed first. So that is here, it's actually not very far. I suspect this circle is gonna nick the corner off of our sheep pen. So we're gonna to need to reshape that 
everything else should be all right. I'm just gonna do that now. This is a bottom slab, so it isn't spawnable. So I've got to come out one, two, three, four, five, come in one, and then go across another four, two, three, and four. 59 is a weird one. And you can't come out three. This could take me a while, I'll be back when I'm finished. And it started out so well as well. The first quarter was perfect. The second quarter was absolutely bang on. The third quarter, however, caused me some problems because my precious pumpkin patch got in the way. And I've somehow gone from a bottom slab up to a top slab, and that's a spawnable block. And I seem to have created the world's most amazing and effective mob farm. This could be a problem. My first priority is making sure no one actually dies because well, there's every chance they could. I'm just getting back in. If I go to sleep, yeah, you can shut up. If I go to sleep, they don't look like they're coming across. So if I come over here, why are you in there? Oh, for goodness sake, that's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm potentially in a little bit of trouble here. I've got to be honest, they've jumped off there because they're kamikaze. This needs to, look at that, it's blooming ridiculous. Look at the number of them. I'm, but there's another one's gone as well. I just need to kill, no, now I'm getting shot. Right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sleep and that will kill anything that's not meant to be alive during the day. Get out of the bed, you. Get out of the bed. I'm saving your life. I'm saving your life by sleeping. Oh, no, they're all in the water, though, aren't they? How am I going to survive this? Look at the state of them. There's so many. We've got creepers coming there. We don't want them to explode. I, I, this is not a good time. This isn't good. But what I have got is an iron golem. And, of course, they're going to go and kill... Oh, Mr. G, don't kill them. Oh, what? This has gone horribly wrong. However, he is dealing with a few things for me, which is quite nice. If I can get rid of them, if you explode, are you going to kill anything? How many are there in there? You die. Don't shoot me. I've got one loaf of bread left. Mr. G, you need to do something. Oh, no, we didn't want that. Why are you shooting? Why are you kill? Yeah, don't you just look at me like there's nothing wrong. Right, I'm wondering whether or not I should let you through there, Mr. G. Should I just let you through? Go on, you pot through there. You go and have a go at them. Go on, out you go. That's fabulous. I'll take those back. I'm going to put these back there. If the creeper explodes, that's not going to be good. No, that was not That was exactly what I didn't want to happen. But it did take a few out, which was good. Mr. G's going out and taking out the drowns. That's positive. The pig's down there. He's not doing good. Creeper, come back here. Where's Mr. G? Where's, is Mr. G dead? No, he's not. He's having to go out a spider. That's all right. Don't die, Mr. G. That would be bad. You know those days where you wish you hadn't got up? Well, this was a really bad idea. Mr. G sat there in the water. He's just staring at the spider. He's meant to be killing it. And I'm just going to kill those. Oh, now I hit the spider by accident. I didn't mean to. Don't explode. I need you to not explode. You die there kill each other. That's fabulous. We've got a couple of drowns here that I can take out now. I've only got two arts. I've just realised I've only got two arts. I need to eat something. Right, I'm actually going to eat rotten flesh to try and get stuff back. That might get me a little few hearts back at least. And I've got to try and kill you as... It's just all gone wrong. I need to sort... Mr. G's gone mad. He's taken out all the spiders, which is fabulous. I'm loving him for that. Maybe whilst he's doing that, I need to just get on with doing the job I was doing. I think there's a party going on. I've got myself some cooked beef from my little storehouse over there and I've also got myself a load more cobblestone slabs so I can now top up these slabs. I already started. I went wrong here. That one was a lower slab and then it became an upper slab so I'm now topping them up as we go around. That's going to stop these from being spawnable completely. And as a result, we should be all right. And we shouldn't have a repeat of what just happened. Because I do not think my heart could take it. Right, the crisis is over. But I've somehow got a sheep stood up on a candle over there, up on that lamp. Mr. G's in here with a load of animals. Most of the animals have gone to Burton. We've got this fella decided he wants to sit in a boat. And he's actually in a boat with the slime. You literally couldn't make this up. And now I've just got to fix it all. So I'm going to eat. And I think probably the best thing I can do is to kill everything because getting it out is just going to be well insane so I'm, I'm gonna have a go at mr g poor old mr g he's my hero and in being my hero that means he gets to offer me some iron you're going to become iron you're going to replace the sword that just broke i'm so sorry i feel so bad having killed him but 
I don't know what else I got to do. I think I just need to come through here. I got to kill the villager. Didn't really want to do that to be honest, but he's in my way. I'm now going to use my pickaxe. Have I got any more? Yeah, I do. These are never ever going to end up. I'm, I'm, so, I'm really sorry, sheepies. I'm sorry, but you're done. I need to have picked up everything, especially the iron. Where's the iron? Have I got the iron? No, I've not got the iron. Where is the iron? Have I got the iron now? I've got a poppy. Surely he dropped some iron. Mr. G, you didn't let me down, did you? I think it's gone. I found it. It was underneath. Thank goodness for that. I think what I need to do is I need to kind of start this off again. I can't lose out on the grass, though. The grass is really important. I'm going to need to grow the grass across in that direction. Right, it's time to fix this up. It is day 48. I'm going to move my grass over to this side, I think. I think I want my animals growing up over here so let's just build a little dirt road so that grass grows across it and i'm going to make a new patch over here where no slimes are going to spawn because it's not a slime chunk it's the morning of day 50 and i'm not entirely sure what it is we've achieved i've got a full set of iron tools as a result of the iron i before killing mr g and killing the other villagers mr g but it means i've got to start again on the iron front and i really wanted to be able to make myself a couple of hoppers to do some farms we have successfully built a circle around that area so this is what the build is going to be i know you'd be forgiven for thinking i didn't know but i have got something in my mind i promise and we've moved where we're going to have all our animals to here and we're just waiting for this grass to grow along it's probably going to take the entire rest of the 100 days into here so we've actually got you know, just just a few animals would be nice however we have got enough wool to cover up everything here at the moment no slime should spawn because none of this is spawnable and the spawnable blocks are not in a slime chunk but what is most important is how many pumpkins did we manage to get by the end of this we've got about four in our stacks. We've got a lot to get. At the end of 100 days, we're meant to have an entire double chest worth. So I need to invest a little bit of time into getting more farming going. I have to be honest, I'm not optimistic that we're going to do it, but I'm going to give it a go. So that is 50 days. Let me know in the comments below what you reckon, whether or not I should do 51 to 100. I've got, I've, I feel like I should be giving up after today. No, never give up. Why is everybody in the water? Literally everybody has got in the water. Interesting episode, but I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. You take it easy now. Bye.